Have you ever been in an absolutely horrific thunderstorm? You know, where it rattles the windows and shakes the pictures on the wall? Here in the South, it happens a lot, and you get used to it, but on a cruise ship? Really? Holy heart attacks and hurricanes! Hey, let me tell you about it. My name is Michael, and welcome to the channel. Here we offer some good tips on cruising and other fun to help you in your travels. Please subscribe and check out our other videos. All right, so we set sail on November 1st aboard the Carnival Breeze from Miami for a six-day cruise. Wow, this is starting to sound like Gilligan's Island already. Anyway, our ports of destination were Montego Bay, Jamaica, Grand Cayman, and then finally Cozumel, Mexico, before heading back. The weather was beautiful that Sunday when we left Miami, and I remember waking up the next morning, which was our first full day at sea. I stepped out onto the balcony and again beautiful weather. All you could see was ocean all around for as far as you could see. And yeah, I'm just like everyone else. Wow, what a sense of freedom and I don't ever want to go back home, and I'm king of the world and all that. Okay, day three, we get up, and we're ported in Jamaica. Again, fantastic weather, beautiful sunshine. We spent all day on the island and loved it. Actually, it's still my favorite place so far. Day four, we wake up, and we're at Grand Cayman, and it's raining cats and dogs. Guest services called our cabin to let us know that our snorkeling excursion had been canceled and refunded. Plus, there at Grand Cayman, the ship can't get close enough to port, so we would be taking a water taxi over to the island. We had decided pretty much, nah, we're not even going to get off the ship that day. But then around noon, the rain subsided and we did get some time on the island and no real sunshine though. Okay, on to day five. Uh-oh. Doomsday. We had ported at Cozumel that morning, and the weather was okay, but not great. We hurried down to the pier to meet up for our excursion to see the Mayan ruins there. Well, before we could even get on the tour bus, here came the rain again, and it rained almost all the way through the tour. There later was a few breaks in the rain, and so we enjoyed the rest of the day there at uh, Cozumel. After boarding the ship that evening, this is when all of the problems started. There was a group of people on a carnival excursion that were late getting back to the ship, so the ship was delayed leaving Cozumel for about an hour or two. So yes, it is true what you've heard. If you're on a carnival excursion and are late getting back, the ship will not leave you. I was sitting out by the pool and looking across, I could see the water line going up and down at the far railing, which to an extent is perfectly normal. But then it started going further up and further down. And although you couldn't feel it, I thought, hmm, this ship is rocking. As we headed on to the dining room for dinner, it began to rain. By about halfway through dinner, you could hear the loud thunder and see the lightning outside. Yeah, there was a pretty bad storm on us. I remember sitting there at the table and feeling the ship start to lean just a little. I stuck my foot out to brace myself, as most everyone did. It was kind of a strange feeling, really. After finishing up with dinner, we started to make our way back to the cabin. By this time, the storm had gotten worse, and just walking had become a bit of a challenge. People were holding on to the walls, and you could feel yourself kind of leaning sideways just to walk. I made the comment that I can't believe people aren't getting sick all over the place. Well, about that time, we turned a corner and whoop, there it is. The chatter started getting louder around the ship as people were getting more and more concerned about the situation. A 
about this time, we had made it out to the pool area, and oh my, the wind had become fierce. The ship was rocking, and the swimming pool was going crazy. This is when we heard the overhead announcement from our cruise director. All open decks are now closed for the entire ship. All shows and entertainment had been canceled also. At this point, we decided to head for the Red Frog Pub inside and maybe watch some football. The only problem there was that the storm was now so severe that upon arriving, we learned that they had lost satellite communication and there was no TV. Honestly, for me, this was the time that I too began to feel a little concerned. I told one of my buddies there, jokingly, Oh Lord, we're all gonna die! His response was, well, if we're all gonna die, I'm gonna die drunk. So he proceeded to order another drink to help facilitate his inebriation process, while I myself was the perfect little angel. Oh, I think lightning just struck. The storm in rocky waters lasted for several hours into the night. However, there was a bit of comfort that many of us found. Looking out just about a mile or two across the ocean, we could barely see the lights from another carnival ship traveling with us in the same direction. We believed it to be the Carnival Magic. It seemed like the two ships were kind of watching out for each other. So yes, it, it was a bit of comfort. After a while, the storm seemed to subside, yet the water was still pretty rough. We decided to call it a night and hope for a better tomorrow. The next morning, when we woke up, it was daylight outside and the sea was once again calm. This would be our last day at sea before porting back in Miami the following morning. One of the first things this morning was an overhead announcement that there would be a special Q&A held that day in the main theater to address any concerns or questions regarding the storm's impact from last night. We decided to attend the meeting and was very impressed. The cruise director sat on the edge of the stage with his feet dangling and took our questions. He was straightforward and honest and very enlightening. We learned a lot and he told that this had happened only one other time for this ship, but for that situation, the ship had turned back and the passengers disembarked and the crews had canceled to avoid the storms. We enjoyed the rest of our last day by being lazy by the pool and just taking in our last day of the beautiful breeze. Overall, I must say, even with everything that happened, including the storm and the rain, it was still a fantastic cruise. And yes, I would do it again, even if I knew the storm was going to happen. Also, I must say this, the crew of the Carnival Breeze was just phenomenal in handling the storm situation. The men and women worked quickly and diligently, sweeping and mopping up flooding areas of the ship. When the rainwater started to come in, they were on it immediately. At no time did I really feel like I was going to die or that the ship was going to sink. Yes, it was a little scary for sure. But again, a big kudos to the Carnival team for a job well done in a most unexpected and undesirable situation. Guys, again, my name's Michael. Thank you so much for watching. Please remember to subscribe and check out our other videos. Take care, and I will see you next time.